we have something special uh, from a group called Aquai. And with that said, I'm going to turn it over to them. Hope you like a little fishy. It's cool to be in Idaho. It's an awesome place, and I love it. Okay, where's my daughter? Emily? That little girl came up to me a few years ago and said, Dad, I want you to save the ocean. And like any father that looks straight into your child's eyes, you instantly nod your head, and you promise the world. So I dwelled into the subject of what's really wrong with the ocean. Well, 405 dead zones, algae blooms going out of proportion. The oceans are depleted to such an extent where there's absolutely a need for systems that are totally flexible and scalable. The problem is, if you look at modern day robotics, everything is centered on the AI. Everything's on the AI, and that creates an expense. Most systems are so expensive that it's pointless buying them. So I decided to build and concentrate on a flexibility rather than an AI aspect. And concentrated on simply making a structure that was bio-inspired, swimming like a fish, but I could take that structure and tweak it, scale it, and put it in a flexible form. That means that I can mimic any other marine animal out there just by changing a few links on the design, which saves cost. And yes, it's still in that prototype stage, but essentially the idea is that I'm going to take that structure and tweak it and scale it so the next realm is a stingray. So what does this mean? If you look at it, it's floating around. It's a little bit toy-like, but it represents life. And that life is slowly but surely becoming depleted. I would like to hand you to one of my crew. Thank you, Simeon. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Doug. Um, my life-changing experience with the Kwai actually started with a used couch. Um, Simeon and Leanna sh uh, sold their couch to my friend, and they mentioned that they were looking for a programmer. So Simeon called me, and you know he asked me a couple background questions, but his most important question was, can you think like a fish? And because I'm a little bit crazy, I said, yeah, I can think like a fish. Um, you know, when we think about environmental issues facing us today, I think it's very easy for us to feel just a sense of hopelessness. Like, we might recycle, we might drive a fuel-efficient car, we might do whatever we can do, but I think a lot of us feel that if our community, if our country, if our whole world isn't really doing that either, then why should we bother? You know, you feel like we just need to sit back and wait for a silver bullet solution. What I've come to learn with Aquai is that it's really not just a technology company, it's a social media company. If it sends you a text from you know, the ocean, or if you're seeing this live video stream, you're really seeing it, and you see how incredible our oceans are, and you see the problems that they're facing, and then you realize this is something we need to fix. And once you have that feeling, that's when we want to connect you with people all over the world who feel that way too. And we want to empower you to be able to actually take action and make changes. The whole vision of Aquai is not that it's one man who wants to save the ocean and it's not a team who wants to save all the oceans. We want to be able to connect people all over the world and inform the world that the silver bullet solution is all of us working together to help clean up our oceans, to ensure that we have you know, a better future and that there are still things in the oceans left for us to discover, because there is so much left to discover. And if you ever doubt our dedication, you know, we pose nude with our fish. I mean, we believe in this, and we look good doing it too. So you're probably wondering, what do you mean you posed nude with your fish? When we heard that Virgin was actually the media sponsor of this event, um, we dove into uh, all the wonderful things that Virgin and Sir Richard Branson has done. And we found that he had posed nude uh, with a dead fish, uh, along with a, uh, as a part of a project which is called Fish Love out of the UK. And what they've done over the course of the last four or five years is uh, get different celebrities and Hollywood stars to pose nude 
with a dead fish in order to bring about awareness state of our oceans. So, like the dedicated people we are, we did exactly that. We posed nude with not a dead fish, but a robotic fish. And, but anyway, I hope you enjoy what we've created. Uh, Simeon has expanded on what our actual long-term goal is, which is not just to swim in a fish tank, um, but also to swim in our, our rivers, our waterways, our oceans with a larger stingray version. And what we ask of you as a startup is that you follow us on Twitter. We're a Kwai Corp. Follow us on Facebook at a Kwai, as in Aqua AI, and thank you. I forgot this. That comes from a week long of silicone and not sleeping. And why did we choose social media? It's very important. If you look at the area today, the consumer doesn't come along for the journey. Therefore, the consumer doesn't know what's the situation. You've got at least three times a year, you've got massive oil spills. You've got problems with oxidization, you've got problems with plastics. Plastics are everywhere. But who knows this? Nobody knows this. You hear about an oil slick, oil mess leak from a ship, you read it for about five minutes and that's it. You forget about it. It's out of your head. What then? Five years later, you're still with the mess. And it's killed thousands and upon thousands of animals. Not just fish, but animals. So the whole idea was, how do you change something? How do you change an attitude set? Taking along people for that journey. Showing them what real life is. Life in the sea. You, who's been to an aquarium? Okay, so who's seen the tuna that swims past you? Did any of them make a connection with you when it hit eye contact? Did you feel something? Just that you felt some sort of thing, that it was an actual animal living. Great. So that's what I wanted to give back. I wanted to hit, while we're cleaning and while we're dedicating our lives to cleaning the ocean, really immerse the, the live feed aspect into the actual product. So yes, we're cleaning, and at the same time, we're uploading information. That information is live video feeds. So no matter where that robot goes, you will see. You will see a picture of an uncut, unfiltered video stream. And that will hopefully create change, a mindset, allowing viewers to see the beauty of the ocean the wildness of it, but also see the reality of the times that we live in. And hopefully that can create a conscious movement. Maybe drive less, maybe not throw the bottle away in the ocean, maybe the guy that's you know, emptying out chemicals on the, the factory floor that's got an outlet to the sea, he's going to think twice. And maybe it will spur on a younger generation. A younger generation that it says, hey, listen, you know what, this is not cool. I don't really want a life like this. That's it. Thanks. Aquai will have the fish at our experience day down in the Riverstone Pond, and you'll be able to ask them more questions, kind of play with it, see what it's all about. It's fascinating uh, what they've done and a lot of fun to also look at. And uh, so congratulations to you guys and your team. Uh, we're now going to be moving into, go ahead, give them a hand. Yeah, they've worked really hard on this.